Big changes are ahead for the Halo franchise according to some new reports that were made over the weekend. But is this enough to bring Halo back to its former glory? Well, in the words of Sierra117, let's finish this fight up next. What's going on guys, it's Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content, drop a like on the video, and welcome to the level up. Okay, so I think it's no secret that the Halo franchise has somewhat been in this little slump, and that's to say the least, over the past few years. And I'd quite honestly, as an avid fan of this series, I'd go as far to argue the series really hasn't been itself since the days of Halo Reach, with a few bright spots here and there. Now, in that time between Reach and Now, the franchise has seen a major shift behind the scenes, with the entire IP changing hands from Bungie to 343 Industries. And many people accredit that downward spiral from Bungie to 343. That's where it all started, and I can see why. And just kind of looking back on Halo as a whole, I can really go back and point out where the nosedive got worse and worse. And quite honestly, should I even begin to mention the marketing behind Halo 5 Guardians? And that's all when Master Chief was supposed to go rogue, he really didn't, the story got confusing. Yeah, that was one of those points. Anyways, I'm not here today to talk about the past of Halo. I'm here to talk about the present and future, which I gotta say is looking awfully bright. Over the weekend, it was announced during the Halo World Championships that 3-4 Industries will be rebranded as Halo Studios to mark a quote-unquote new dawn in the Halo franchise. Now the fun doesn't stop there, because it was revealed that moving forward, all Halo games being developed will be done so in Unreal Engine 5, which has been a massive rumor floating around for quite some time. And speaking of game development, according to them, multiple Halo games are currently in development. I for one never really seen an out of the blue change here like this studio, but I gotta say it's a very welcomed and many, including myself, would say this is much needed. Now the big question here is, why did 343 do this? Well, the studio head Pierre Hines elaborated on this more with this here statement. Quote, if you really break Halo down, there have been two very distinct chapters. Chapter 1, Bungie. Chapter 2, 343 Industries. Boy, ain't that the truth. He continued, now I think we have an audience which is hungry for more. So we're not just going to try to improve the efficiency of development, but change the recipe on how we make Halo games. So, we start this new chapter today. We had disproportionate focus on trying to create the conditions to be successful in servicing Halo Infinite, but switching to Unreal allows us to put all the focus on making multiple new experience at the highest quality possible. Now, that efficiency he's talking about here is moving away from that slip space engine, which was a big problem behind the scenes to develop for. So, shifting to Unreal Engine 5 is going to smooth a lot of things out, and the art director had more to say on that. Quote, respectfully, some components of Slip Space are almost 25 years old. Although 343 was developing it continuously, there are some aspects of Unreal that Epic has been developing for some time, which are unavailable to us in Slip Space, and would have taken huge amounts of time and resources to try to replicate. Now, I can say it's certainly refreshing for a studio like this to come out and declare changes need to be made, and not only that, but they followed through. Also, like I always say with any of this stuff, execution is key. They can go on and release something like Concord, or they can release a masterclass of a game. There's really no in-between. This also goes without saying, I really did enjoy Halo Infinite, and I also felt like its multiplayer was a huge upgrade over prior games. I can't tell you the amount of times where I was playing Halo Infinite's multiplayer, and I just said to myself, this is a true Halo game. But I do think my gripe with the series as a whole all stems back to the game's campaign. I don't think we really gotten a truly gripping story since the days of Halo Reach, or if you're a real one, you played Halo 3 ODST. Now, as for the multiple projects that are in the works now, that can be anyone's guess. There have been rumors of a cancelled Battle Royale game making the rounds, but I'd personally like to see them revisit the ODST franchise a bit more, and kind of see what they can do with stealth. And I'm talking about hardcore stealth. But if I had a really nitpick here, I need them to emphasize Forge Mode more along with custom games. Because I felt as if in the days of Halo 3, 
that's what made the game have a life way beyond its years. And this is just me personally speaking, I think they kind of neglected Forge Mode a little bit here, releasing it months after the game's initial launch. That was a mode that came standard in Halo 3, on day one, no problems. Also, they did implement a third person mode in multiplayer, I'm gonna flash up some footage throughout this video. Again, it's nice to see them make these little changes, albeit did we really need third person? No, but it's certainly welcomed. But with all that being said, I'm gonna pass this off to you guys. Do you think the changes being made here for Halo are going to improve the series in the long run? Or is this kind of a lost cause? I, for one, am holding out hope here. I like all these changes. I like what they're saying. But again, execution is key. It's always key. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.